Hey there, it's Steve. And Terry. From Serious Keto, and we're gonna do something that you have not been part of yet. Okay. I don't think you were part of the Oh wait, yes you were. You did have some of the blueberry muffins that we yes. did before. So, starting last month, I did a new thing, and I'm gonna continue to do it, called Clearance Keto. So, when we go to the grocery store, I always check the clearance aisle to see if there's any keto or keto-friendly stuff. Right. Last month, it was the Birchbender's Blueberry Muffins. This month, it's the I'm hold one up. Hershey's Special Dark Zero Sugar. And Milk Chocolate Zero Sugar. Okay, that sounds yummy. I like Hershey's stuff, you're, Hershey bars. You gotta make sure that you, you do make a, um, like a good thumbnail face. Oh. Okay, so I will be testing these. Uh, in addition to us doing the taste test, I will also be doing a blood glucose test using a Dexcom G6 continuous glucose monitor and the Levels Health analysis software. And you're going to know why I'm doing this once I get to the ingredients list. So this is the part now where I go through the keto stuff that you're not that interested in, but just sort of pretend to be interested in. Okay. Deal? Good deal. Okay. I'll try. So starting with the zero sugar. The, the macros are about the same. Serving size, four pieces, 130 calories. Total fat, 10 grams. Total carbohydrates, 20 grams, of which two are dietary fiber and 16 are sugar alcohol for a net two grams of carbs and less than one gram of protein. Ingredients, this is on the milk chocolate ones again. Get ready for this. Maltitol is how it starts out. That's the sweetener. And this is what concerns me. In fact, I might not have even purchased these had I looked carefully enough at the ingredients because maltitol is the highest glycemic index of any sugar alcohol. So it'll be interesting to see how this affects my blood glucose. Cocoa butter, chocolate, polydextrose, which I'm not familiar with, cream, milk fat, and 2% or less of calcium carbonate, cocoa proce processed with alkali, maltodextrin, sodium caseinate, soy lecithin, natural and artificial flavor. So if you are really into clean keto and clean ingredients already, you may not be interested in these. Dark chocolate, pretty similar. Uh, the difference, it's the same net carbs, it's just one gram less total carbohydrates uh, and uh, a couple grams less of sugar alcohol. It still works out to two net, 19 total. Two grams of protein. Ingredients are maltitol, chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa processed with alkali, polydextrose, milk fat, 2% or less of soy lecithin, PGPR. That was in the other one too. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to look that up. PG or PBR, peanut nope. butter jelly? No, PGPR. Oh, okay. So I don't know what that could possibly stand for. Uh, and vanillin. So which one would you like to start with? Uh, let's go with the regular chocolate. Milk, milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Yeah. Probably a good Sometimes call. Sometimes dark chocolate, you know, has a coffee-like. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, so they're kind of like the, like yeah, they're like the, uh, what do they call it, fun size? Yeah. So kind of like uh, so, um, Halloween, yeah. Halloween size. Now I will be eating two of each of these so I get the full four-piece serving for the sake of the glucose testing. Oh, and I should probably start that right now. They keep making this software more advanced, so now all I had to do, I just took a picture of this and it knew what it was. Huh. It, uh, it recognized it. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it even... Uh, recognized the name. Yeah, just put it right oh, in there. Hershey's yeah. chocolate, okay. candy bars, zero, zero sugar. sugar. Three Pretty slick. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, also apologies if you hear some background noise, it's raining out and the mic's going to pick that up. Okay. Hopefully no one falls asleep, <laughs> like sleep sounds. Yeah. Good. Just less sugar. Tastes yeah. still has the same Hershey, Hershey milk chocolate bar. I, have, I haven't had a, a real chocolate bar in a long time, but this is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is very chocolatey, not as sweet as I recall. Yeah. There is a tiny little bit of cooling at the yeah, end. Yeah. Um, it's been quite a while since I've had maltitol as well. So I didn't know if I'd get, it's not the strong, it's not as strong as erythritol for the cooling, but it's still, you, you pick it up a little bit at the end. That's fine, yeah. Cause, cause uh, it's like if, uh, when I, I like to freeze my Hershey bars, so yeah. So 
They're a little cold, so it's kind of similar. <laughs> I still have a bite in, so I, I didn't want to chew while you were talking. Sure. So now we have the special dark. Yeah, really good. Same thing, just has a little dark flavor and less sugar. And it has that same crunch and I like it. I don't like it as much. I mean, I've gotten really used to the lint dark chocolate, yeah. like 90% uh, cacao. I don't like lint chocolate, so I like Hershey's. That's what I have, Hershey bar. Yeah, to me, this this feels like sort of a an attempt at dark chocolate. I, I don't, like I said, I'm, I'm used to, I like that my dark chocolate to almost be right on the edge of, of bitter mm. with that sort of kick to it. But, and this doesn't get there. This is a lot closer to, to milk chocolate yeah. than it is to, to dark chocolate, in my opinion. But not horrible. And I would also say not as good as the stuff that we've gotten from Chalk Zero. Oh, I disagree. You do? I, well, I like Hershey's. Okay. I like Hershey bars. That's... Well, Chuck, yeah. so probably in another <laughs> week or two, we've got some more stuff to, okay. to do from Chalk Zero, and, and maybe we can pit these uh, against it. I find that Chalk Zero stuff, um, there's some that I really, really love. There's some not so much like the raspberry flavored stuff. Yeah. That, did, that didn't work for me. But in generally, generally speaking, I just, I, I like the taste and the mouthfeel of the Chalk Zero a little bit more. But this stuff was super cheap. So, clearance, $2.59 a bag. Now, one thing to note, just because I found it on clearance doesn't mean you'll go to the store and find it on clearance, unless you go to the same store as me. But, I do these so that you know if they ever show up on clearance or on sale, where you shop might be worth picking up. You think these might be worth picking up? Yeah. You like yeah, them? Yeah, there's less sugar, but I know all that other stuff, I don't know. You know, if I'm going to eat sugar, what's... I might as well eat real sugar instead of all this other sh sugar substitutes, but well, yeah, I don't so, know. Right. <laughs> so I figured so there's, there's your that's non my non-keto thing. I, to me, um, sugar is sugar, and if I'm going to put it in my mouth, <laughs> I'm going to do the real stuff. That's my choice. So there you go, the non-keto <laughs> opinion. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't regret purchasing them for this price, but we'll see what happens to my blood glucose. So we're gonna cut away for a moment. For me, it's gonna be for two hours. For you, it'll be instantaneous. Then I'll be back with my glucose results, and then after that, we'll be back to say goodbye. All right, let's see how those Hershey bars affected my glucose over the last two hours. The level software scored this a seven, or a gentle rise. Let's take a look at the details. 23 points, so 23 milligrams per deciliter. It's not horrible. A spike is generally considered 30 points or more, so this was not a spike, but there definitely was an impact on blood glucose. For me, this is still in the acceptable range. Now, if you're interested in continuous glucose monitors and the Levels Health program, I will put a link down in the description below. But now, back to me and Terry. So that is it for this review video. Pretty quick one. Yes. Uh, we've got some fun stuff coming up later this month in terms of other reviews hmm. so that we can get the whole family involved. Should be good. You, you know what they are? You just yep, we're going to do, I think we're going to do the tortilla mix from Sonora Baking. Okay. We're going to, we got some Chalk Zero stuff okay. to do. And then I always try and keep one week per month open because you never know. I could, I could find another product. Something could show up on my doorstep. Okay. So I like to be ready. All right. But, uh, Always ready. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I like chocolate, so these work good. What do you have to say now? See you next time. That's right. And I say thanks for watching.